back in verse 849, we had our, a description of our usual situation. It's one of discrimination. And I'll say more about that shortly. In these verses, broadly speaking, can be divided into two types. There are those that are describing our everyday situation, our situation with respect to conventional reality, and there are those that are describing our situation with respect to successful enlightenment practice. There are actually some verses also which describe this enlightenment practice. And the next verse, 852, is describing the perspective from successful enlightenment practice. And it's also given us a clue how to how to practice once again, what to take our cue from. So let's have a look at it, verse 852. Vijnana, not being born, there is no ignorance. Ignorance being absent, there is no vijnana. And how can succession take place? So the vijnana are the various sense consciousnesses. We're conscious of sights, we're conscious of sounds, feelings, and so on. And it's related to ignorance. It's usually our automatic state. We are caught up in this world which we believe we are experiencing through the senses. And the word vijnana is related to the word jnana. Jnana means knowledge, or in some contexts it means wisdom, enlightened wisdom even. Vijnana is consciousness that is split. It's split into the various sense consciousnesses. I think if I'm not mistaken, the prefix V is the same as the English by, B-I. It represents a split or an apparent split in consciousness, which is the same as ignorance. It's the opposite of enlightened wisdom, which is jnana. And what's this succession? How can succession take place? What's this succession that's being mentioned? Well, before I look at that, let's come back to what's being described in the first part of this verse. There seems to be a cycle of vijnana and ignorance. However, if we don't get in to these sense impressions, to sense consciousnesses, this cycle is broken. And this is what's meant by the vijnana not being born. It's not describing the vijnana as unborn, although you, you could take it that way. It's actually pointing out to us as enlightenment practitioners that we don't need to get into the vijnana. We don't need to let them be taking a hold because this is the way out of ignorance. We don't even buy into the story of sense impressions because the story of perception and the story of sense impressions is one of these things that we buy into. We assume without question because we can't see how it can be otherwise. To question it would be absurd to question the story of sense impressions, to question the story of an external world being experienced by an individual here through the mechanism of the senses. 
you question that it's, it's quite mad what have you got if you haven't got that but what you've got is enlightenment if you haven't got that you've got the, you've got access to the opposite of ignorance which is transcendental wisdom So really, we're getting a clue how to practice here. We're getting a, a, a pointer to what is going on, which is our buying into sense impressions, buying into the world of the senses. And we're being reminded to step back from this, to step back into what Douglas Harden calls the capacity for everything which is where we're operating from anyway we just get caught up in certain stories stories of perception of an external world of an individual me we get caught up in these stories but we can step back step back from the stories and come back to this capacity for everything which is actually what is on top of these shoulders here and so this is it this is it ignorance is absent and there is no vijnana this is it how can succession take place well, this, six, this succession is really about the movement of the attention. When we come back to the realization that we are capacity for everything, there's no succession. And what happens is we forget it. We get focused on some aspect. We start discriminating again and get caught up in our discriminations. This has to happen, but we practice enlightenment as a practice and we come back more and more often to the realization of our true identity and the option of ignorance becomes less and less what succeeds this realization. So as I said, this is all tied in with the attention, the behavior of the attention. And I'll say more about this in the next verse, which I'll continue with in the next video.